Move on to question six, and I call upon the Honourable Member for Garth, Mrs Kane. Thank you, Mr President. I would like to ask the Minister for the Cabinet Office <coughs> whether she supports a continuation of free TV licences for people aged 75 and over. Minister for the Cabinet Office to reply. Thank you, Mr President. As Honourable Members will have seen, at the end of last week, the Treasury announced that all of the island's residents who are over the age of 75 will continue to receive a free TV licence until the end of 2022. It is perhaps helpful to provide a reminder about the current position. The BBC covers the cost of free TV licences for our over 75s who receive income support. The Treasury funds the licences for the rest of our over age 75s and also for pensioners who are under the age of 75 who receive income support. The BBC's funding of free TV licences for over 75s in the island is in line with the means tested funding of TV licences for over 75s in the United Kingdom and there is also similar provision in the Channel Islands. The top up funding from Treasury for those who do, do not get income support was only guaranteed for this year by the last administration with a view to this new administration considering the position going forward. As it happens, the Treasury had this issue on the agenda for its department meeting last week and I am happy to support the decision it made. Supplementary question, Mrs Kane. Thank you, Mr President. Um, I was very grateful that Treasury put out a statement confirming the position, um, having had uh, constituents contact me with the anxiety of um, the end of the year approaching and no, no decision or announcement about a TV licence. But it is only for one year, so can the Minister clarify whether she thinks it would be preferable for the position for the whole of this administration to be clarified when that review is undertaken and to inform um, over 75s and those in receipt of free TV licences um, whether that is going to continue at least for the extent of the, this administration. Thank you, Mr President. Minister to reply. Thank you, Mr President. My understanding is that that will be the case um, and I think that, um, that there is a question about um, you know whether whether the the most affluent over 75s need a TV license, but it's the, it's the, it's something that has to be carefully looked at, and that commitment has been given that it would remain for the rest of the administration. Thank you, Mr. President. Supplementary, Mr. Morehouse. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, just with reference to that last answer, in terms of the offering being available to the end of this administration. Could the Minister please give some clarity on that, please? Um, because at the moment we've got this situation where people are receiving support and they're concerned about when it will, whether it will continue in the long run. Thank you very much. Minister to reply. Thank you, um, Mr President. It's obviously something that has just, just been announced recently by Treasury, so it does need some, some careful thought on as to exactly who it would apply to and how it would apply. So that's the information I could give at this stage, but there may be further information that can follow, considering this, the funding of it is really uh, falling to be a Treasury matter. Thank you, Mr President. Supplementary question, Mr Ashford. Thank you very much, Mr President. Would the, uh, would the Minister for the Cabinet Office agree with me um, that the important thing and the time urgent thing was to ensure that we had certainty and clarity um, for those on the island receiving free TV licences for the forthcoming 12 months? Uh, and would the, mem uh, the Minister also agree with me that a more holistic review is needed to decide um, on whether that continues for everyone or whether, in fact, there should be some form of means testing in place? And it is that review that will then decide the direction of travel as to what is in place for the remainder of this administration. Minister to reply. Thank you, Mr President. I would agree, and that given that the pressure on the government finances, I think it is appropriate for Treasury to review whether free TV licence for every island resident who is over the age of 75 regardless of how well off they are, is the best use of the resources available to us. So I do support um, the business point there. Thank you, Mr President. Supplementary question, Mr Thomas. Thank you, Mr President. Then. So would the Minister agree with me then that the Council Minister's position seems to be that universal provision of over 75 television licences will, ca will carry on for one year and then the Tim Ward agreed means testing principles will be applied in a review to see whether they, that universal provision continues for the, for the remainder of the five-year term? And the second question is, if that's the case, does the... Um, 
minister agree with me, as a, certainly as a younger person than I am, that this, this, this idea of universal provision and the disapplication of means testing pr pr principles should be looked at in the context of things like child benefit, child care allowances, and generally supporting parenthood and things for younger people and families in a similarly <coughs> universal way. Minister, that is expanding the uh, remit of the question, uh, but I'll give you the opportunity to respond. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I'm, I'm not prepared to comment on the other aspects there, but I think you know, the, the, the point about the extension for the year has already been confirmed, and I would reiterate again that it is appropriate uh, for the Treasury to, to review whether a free TV licence for every island resident who is over the age of 75, regardless of however well off they are, is the best use of limited resources. It, it is something that clearly needs to be looked at in balance and looked at again in the longer term. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you.